everybody, welcome to Movement Revolution. I'm here at our Chicago River North studio. Wanted to bring you guys some exercises today to help people with Parkinson's with a symptom called freezing of gait. This is, off, this is a symptom where um, a lot of times the feet feel like they're cemented to the ground. You can't initiate a step. And it re results in a lot of the, you know, quick, fascinating steps, right? Um, so this series of exercises is, helped, is, is what we do here at Movement Revolution to help our clients kind of build some techniques and some tricks on how to release that freezing of gait. A lot of times it's a lot of overstimulation. There's a lot of, um, uh, I guess, anxiety around you, whether that's visual stimulation, um, auditory stimulation, or a lot of times clients with freezing of gait have a trigger for that freeze, whether that be a doorway, an elevator, um, a threshold, any kind of change in service, a lot of times those will, will really catch people up. Also, um, moving in tight spaces will also kind of elicit, a lot of times will elicit that freezing of gait as well. So here is a series of exercises that I like to start from a seated position, um, just to help translate what we do from a seated position. A lot of times this is a safer place to um, start practicing some of these techniques and movements. Um, so we're going to start with just a rock from side to side. So a step is no different than um, a, a rock from side to side. In order to initiate a step, you have to shift your weight to one side of your body to lift and step with the other, right? So this is a rock in a shift from side to side, okay? So we want to shift all of our weight into that left butt cheek, and then all of your, your weight over to the right butt cheek. And we can kind of add a little reach with the arms from a side to side if that's helpful as well. Okay, so once we get a technique down here to rock from side to side, we're gonna rock and step and back. Rock, step, and back. Rock to one side, step with the opposite side. I'm using that arm just to help over-exaggerate how much I'm rocking over to the side, okay? And we're initiating that step forward. Now, let's stand up. Okay, if you need something to hold on to, um, grab something nearby. You can have a countertop, a walker, walking sticks, whatever that might be. Okay, but I want you to start with your feet about shoulder width apart. Oftentimes, freezing of gait will be much more difficult to manage if your feet are closer together. And a lot of our clients with Parkinson's tend to have a pretty narrow stance. So you want to spread your feet apart, hip to shoulder width apart. Okay, this allows, this forces us to shift our weight before we initiate a step. It allows us to recruit the right muscles, the big muscles in our legs and our hips, to help you stabilize your body weight to initiate that step. If we're really close together and we try to initiate a step, one, it makes you really feel tippy because your, feet, your, your base of support is so narrow, but it's also really hard to initiate a step here because you can't activate your glute muscles that really help load the weight of one side of your body so you can free up the other leg to step. So let's start with a wide base of support with your feet. We're gonna do that same rocking from side to side, left to right. You can start by keeping both feet on the ground and just shift from side to side. Then you can lift and reach if you feel more comfortable doing that. Our goal here is eventually to be able to get that one foot off the ground, right? Posture is really important with this as well. As soon as we get to the stand, the more forward we are with our posture or our head, if we're looking down at the ground, this is pulling our body forward, right? A lot of times people freezing the gait, have be heavy on your toes. It's really harder, it's a lot harder to get weight back onto your heels. Posture has a lot to do with that. So let's pick that posture up as much as you can. Try to gaze maybe 15 feet out in front of you. That's gonna help lift that posture and that torso up. Even when doing this exercise, we want to emphasize posture and everything that we need to do to make sure that we can take that step as efficiently as possible. So, posture's up, eyes are up, hips are kind of tucked underneath your shoulders as we rock from side to side. As you do this a little bit um, more continuously, we can try to feel and hold that position from side to side. What we're doing there is just overloading that leg to sustain our weight longer than it would be than when you have to take a step, right? So we're trying to over-exaggerate how much we shift our weight because as we go to initiate a step, I always tell people who are freezing, 
Try not to think about taking a step forward. That's the last thing you want to think about. You have to bring it back to your hips and a weight shift or a rock from side to side. You're not going to initiate a step if you don't shift your weight first, right? So rock and shift. Now we can add a step and back. Shift the weight and kind of move one, two, three, step and back, okay? One, two, three, step and back. One more time. One, two, three, step and back. Okay, now 